Hey everyone, Josh here with Fresh Start Customs, and today we're going to be talking about how to get your automatic settings from We Create Make It and how to use layers like the fundamentals of this and how to do it in an easier form. I recently had somebody say that they can't select this and change through the material up here. Um, that could be because you have an item selected potentially or multiple items and it can't variate the two between each other. Um, but it usually works. So if it's not working where it can let you select through like this, your um, system is probably corrupted. You'll have to uninstall your software and reinstall your software. You should be able to click through this, but just make sure you don't have any items selected and that should be the first thing you have um, once it's ready to go. So when you have all of this pulled up, you can flip through and if it's paper, you can select paper. In this case, it's wood and uh, we're gonna use the birch plywood three millimeter and we're gonna create this project today in the bottom right corner. I'm not gonna actually print it off. Uh, I already printed this off in the past. This is what it looks like. This is the file for it and how it'll print. And then after you assemble it, it'll look like this here. Um, with that said, now that you have your automatic settings selected here, um, or the sheet of material that is going to be in this white area, this will look like your sheet of material after you hit refresh in the top right. Um, now you have to select your settings. So with the settings, um, we're going to start with a cut line. So this red area is a cut line. So if I select cut over here on the right, that changes just that piece. It didn't change this piece. It still says line engrave. And line engrave is equal to what's also known as a score. So if you see somebody say score, um, that is basically where it does the same path as a cut line, but it doesn't actually cut through. It just engraves a line instead of engraving the full color of the image. Um, the problem here is, is people will go through and they'll click on each of these individually, change it to cut, and then they'll go to the next one, change it to cut, and that takes forever. What you wanna do is come down here to layers, and then you wanna go up to your red coloring here, and then you wanna change all of it to cut at once. So now that you have everything on the cut path here, which is all red, um, you're good to go. So every single piece is already set to cut, as you can see if I click on these. And you can also highlight stuff that is all together here, and you can group them by ch clicking group like that. So they're not individual items, so you don't accidentally move a piece around that you don't need to move. Um, and then next, we're going to go to the light blue here, this little cloud. This one is actually a line engrave, so we're going to leave that on line engrave. And you can come up with your own custom settings by tweaking the settings over here on the right for both cut and line engrave. Um, and that's basically where you're going to have to just kind of test what works best for you. Usually the preset settings for a close material will work automatically for a cut and line engrave. But for like cut, for example, let's say we highlight all of that again and it didn't cut through. You can turn, uh, you can change this to like seven power instead of eight to slow it down a little bit and it'll cut a little bit more powerful here. Um, now that we have our cut and our line engrave selected, I accidentally selected that as a cut. We're going to change that back to a line engrave. Now that we have both of those selected, we need to do the black area. So the black area is your actual engrave itself. So that's the fill engrave. That's what it's known as on WeCreate here. So we're going to do the same thing where you select all of the black by clicking over here. And then um, as you can see with all of the black um, selected, you can't actually automatically do the um, engraving settings here because I have this little image here. So let's get rid of the image and then let's go back to the black. So now that we have all of it selected without the image in it, and which I'm gonna explain in just a moment, you can now um, select your settings here. So what you're gonna do is come down here and click on this little icon and you can automatically select what settings you think will look best. So let's just say we like this one right here. It doesn't look like it has any burn off. It's gonna be a little bit lighter, but we're good with that. We're gonna select that. As you can see over here on the right, that automatically changed. And then to exit out of this, just click anywhere in the blank zone. That's ready to go. And the reason why this didn't let you select whenever I had that image down here is the image was actually what's called known, uh, known as a bitmap engraving, 
while these in black here are a vector engraving. So it's basically two different images. Uh, one's just a regular photo, and then this one is a more crisp um, image here that is an outline of an image. So you can actually turn vectors into line engraves or cuts um, or back to fill engrave, where if it's a regular photo like I had, that can only be used for an engrave, and you would have to do that separately than these images. Um, since it's not a color, it keeps it all on the black layer, and that's the reason why it was selected originally, and I couldn't change the settings. So hopefully that um, makes sense, and I didn't confuse you guys by starting out with that, but I wanted to make sure that you could see why you couldn't select it if you had um, an image with a vector image, so like a rasterized image with a vector image. So keep that in mind. That's the one time that you won't see settings over here. But with all that said, hopefully that helped break this down a little bit and uh, know that that's how it would engrave and it would cut out here. And then basically you would engrave the blacks and then you would cut out the reds and then do a score on the blue. And that would end up with that latest image that I showed you earlier of the final image. Um, if you guys have any questions, let me know down in the comments below. I'm trying to break this down as best as I can for all you guys. Um, and we'll catch you guys in the next one.